What a place to get stuck, eh? This is a place called Rancho El Tinieblo, the Darkness Ranch. And they, uh, it's a hunting ranch, and they also are still in mezcal right here. So these are the fermentation vats. That's a real wood fermentation vat. And then here's the material that's in there. I get down where you can see it. And that is fermenting mezcal. Here you can maybe see me better. I dropped my phone in there. It'll be gone forever. So they stir it up. Here's the fork to stir it up. They got the pitchfork to stir it, stir up the mash. And then here's the barrels. And you're, this is really going to blow your mind. Here's the barrels. And right here, they're still in the shine. Look at that. Right into this glass garrafon. It's dripping out of this copper pipe. Is that amazing? And all this is wood fire. Look, this one's going too. This one's going too. Dripping white lightning. It smells good. I can smell it. And then here's the actual fire to heat the still, the copper still. So it's, uh, it's cooking over a wood-fired flame. Is that incredible? Yeah, I can really smell it. Here's another one. Look, they got their copper steamer and the uh, temperature gauge on there. And then here's a big mill where they smash out the mash and rake it out. Uh, this is basically an agave plant. I'm going to shoot from the other side so we can see it. Look at that stone wheel. That thing's got to weigh tons and tons. The size of that wheel. Probably four and a half feet in diameter. Almost two feet wide. I'm sure there was a burrow running this at some point, but they've got an electric motor on it now to move that thing around. I'm sure it takes a huge amount of power, but that's where they mash out the mash. ¿Y qué se alimenta de eso? This is, this is the mill, and this is where they chop it up so that they can uh, ferment it. ¿Y la planta original qué es eso? This is the oven. Okay, so they put the wood in the bottom here, and then this is volcanic rock. And they put that over the top, and then they heat the wood for eight hours. Para hacer el carbón. And then, and then this is the uh, product, is this uh, charcoal. They put pine o over the volcanic rock, so they put the wood in the bottom. La leña de aquella que es, es de mezquite. So this is mesquite wood that they put in the bottom. And here's their mesquite wood that they've been cutting. And then uh, they put that in the bottom of this oven and put the volcanic rock and then they put pine wood over the top and build the fire. Y la planta que inicia. Y es, es maguey o es? Es agave. Sí. Es agave, okay. So it's an agave plant. And this is the agave plant. Es el raíz o es el? Es la piña. La corazón. So this is the heart of the agave plant. Y cuando hacen, ustedes también venden miel de agave, ¿sí? Ahorita no está bien. Okay. They do sometimes make uh, agave honey, agave syrup, but they're not doing that right now. They just take the agave hearts and then they smash them out and that's what they make the mash out of. Y en estos... Okay, so this is the white lightning that has come out of the stills, and from here it goes on to either be aged or to be bottled. If it's the young, the clear mezcal, then they'll bottle it right off, and then they have two different ages. They have a reposado, which is rested, that's, uh, you know, aged a, a shorter time, and then they have the añejo, which is long-aged. 
So it goes from here either to the barrels or to the bottles. Y estos grandes. Ajá. ¿Y cuánto por ciento es de alcohol esto? Grados o por ciento? Los grados que lo piden. Ajá. So this is either 40 or 45 percent alcohol, whatever they, whatever they uh, request. Their bottlers are requesting. Sí. Y esos se van para afuera. Sí. Sale acá de este lado. All right, and this is the ventilation sí. from the ovens. And here, and here is the... Uh, con esto y, y con tierra blanca de ahí hicimos los... Hicieron los cuadros esos, los compañeros. Como quien dice, la bodega está hecha del mismo gabazo. Okay, so this warehouse is actually built out of agave fiber that they have stilled the shine out of. Jack Daniels uses their grain, you know, and then they feed it to the cattle and say that they marinate them in the region from the inside out. But this fiber that's right here, you can tread that into clay and make blocks and bricks. And that's what you see here. You can see the fiber within this brick. So that's agave that they've made that out of. Is that amazing? And then, these are cases of bottles that are ready to go. They're ready to ship. And let's see what they say on them. Product of Mexico. Here's their Tinieblas Ranch. And this is 40%, uh, so it's 80 proof as they're shipping it. Ten thousand liters of mezcal, and uh, some of these are are uh, fresh, and some of them are aged. Okay, all of these metal containers are uh, aged, and here's the bottle. Okay, this is, a, this is a company that sends them their own bottle, and so they custom bottle under this label. And right here is the bottler. Wow. So this is the this is the measuring machine, sí. the bottles, pequeña, and this little machine will fill 2,000 bottles a day, and here they are, here they are, let's look at them, and those are ready, estos son listos a empaquear, so these bottles are ready to case, here are the, the, the cases, and they put them in those cases and then pack them up outside. Pack them up in the warehouse. And here they keep an eye on the whole.